We want to turn now to the Muslim holiday of Ramadan. This is a time when Muslims fast from sunrise to sunset for 30 days. One local author talks about how the holiday has provided an opportunity for her to share her core values of the faith and her, with her family. It all started with a blog 10 years ago that has now has followers all over the world. Salma Hassan Ali's latest book, 30 Days, Stories of Gratitude, Traditions, and Wisdom, has connected people of all faiths all over the world during this time when people have been so disconnected from each other. We want to welcome both Salma Hassan Ali and a longtime blog follower and executive director of the Bernstein Families Foundation, Amy Aronson. Uh, ladies, thank you for being with us this morning. Good to see both of you. Thank, thank you. you. Salma, I want to start with you. What was the idea behind starting the blog, which eventually led to this book? Yes, so as you mentioned, we're in the month of Ramadan right now, and this is the month of fasting for Muslims, but it's also a month where we try and step up our game a little bit. We try to be extra kind and extra grateful and extra charitable. And these are the values that I wanted to teach my kids. And so 10 years ago, we decided uh, Ramadan 2011 to do one good deed each day. Mm -hmm. And to keep us uh, disciplined, we thought we'd write about it, blog about it, and share it with our family and friends. So it became 30 days, 30 deeds. And it became a family tradition. We would do it each year, uh, choosing a different theme that reflected the essence of the month, from 30 gratitudes to 30 traditions, mm -hmm. 30 inspiring stories, 30 recipes, 30 wisdoms from our elders. Mm -hmm. And this year on its 10th anniversary, I thought I'd compile some of these stories uh, into a book. And yeah, it, I'm excited to launch it. It's a, it's a really uh, great idea to make you know the holiday more inclusive to people. Amy, let me turn to you. What was your knowledge of Islam before you started reading this blog, and, and how has it changed your thoughts? Yes, I did not have an orientation to Islam at all, um, but as a woman of faith and our Jewish tradition, I felt um, an immediate connection because of the universal truth and values that I found deeply resonant and uh, it just, it, it held a certain place in my heart and our family and our community that became opportunistic to learn about ourselves and the world in which we're living. Salma, was that one of the goals here? Because you, know, you would look at someone who maybe practices the Jewish faith and someone who practices Islam, and we are taught generationally that these two religions that are at odds with each other, but yet when you look at the tenets of the faith, they're closer than most people probably would assume. Absolutely. And this has been one of the most fulfilling aspects of sharing this blog is hearing from people like Amy and others all around the world that say, we don't practice Ramadan, but we look forward to this month because we know that we're going to be able to follow uh, and really understand and take part in this storytelling. And, you know, while the blog takes place during Ramadan and the central characters happen to be Muslim, it's really about values that underlie all faith traditions and that everybody who believes in kindness and community and connection really relates to. And it's through our personal stories that we can communicate those shared values. And that's very much at the heart of this blog and of this book. Amy, when I grew up, uh, the Catholic church I went to used to hold a, a Seder uh, during Passover because they thought it was important that Catholics understood the roots of the Catholic faith. As, as you have kind of gone through the blog, have you been able to kind of share this information with people of your faith and, and tell them things that you've learned as well? Absolutely. I believe that, in fact, Salma and I have sh um, shared meals together. We've shared prayer together. I think there is this opportunity, um, and especially to transmit to our children, that we met through our children. In fact, um, my son Isaac and, and Salma's son Zaid. But the truth is that the ability to transmit these values and not just talking, but actually sharing uh, the experiences of service mm -hmm. is, is profound. And I do think that um, whether it's Passover or whether it's the Sabbath um, or if it's various mm -hmm. holidays, that this is just a reminder that we all have the capacity and potential to practice um, every right. day and each year.
Salma, we have about 15 seconds. Where can people get the book? Uh, through my website. It's uh, salmahassanali.com. Right. We appreciate both of you. Salma, Amy, good to see you.